I don't know if you can tell, but I have sketched a little bunny onto the canvas, but that was just for my visualization. So first thing I'm gonna do is do a base coat. She is fresh. I'm gonna do a quick base coat on our background just with um, some Anita's White, which is just the Anita's White Crafty Paints. Just, um, you know, that cheap stuff you get at the Hobbly Lobbly. And I'm also going to use some Americana Poodle Skirt Pink. You can't see anything? Can, I do feel better, Susan. Who, can anybody see what I'm doing? Rima, you can't see me? Hmm, let me know because we need, we'll need to do something about that if you can't. Thanks, Keitha. I can see my screen and I can see your, um, I can see your comment, so I'm not sure what's going on. So you guys can see me. Rima, maybe it's, uh, maybe, maybe you need to log off and back on. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to just put a quick coat of white on my canvas because uh, this is the uh, lightest pink I have and I don't want it to be that super pink. So I'm gonna put a coat of white and then add some of the pink just to kind of tone it down a little without having to pre-mix a color. So I'm just gonna squirt it right on my canvas. <laughs> Y'all know me. Good. Go out and back again. Yeah, you may have to do that. So, um, so I'm just going to coat my canvas with the white all over, and I'm only going to do the sides if I see that it's icky. And I do see that it's icky, so I'm going to go ahead and just hit the sides with some of this white. So excited, guys, to be going to Destin tomorrow. I'm going on a retreat with my little girlfriends. We're going to make art, make wine tastings, and eat food. <laughs> We're gonna do all kinds of fun stuff. Just be girlfriends. So I'm excited about that. See, there's a really icky spot right there, so we wanna make sure that it's not exposed. So let me get down here. So once I have all the white covered, let me turn this back this way. Nope, that's as close as I can get, girlfriend. See, on the screen, if I get any closer, you're not gonna see the whole canvas, so. My, my, um, oops. My little thing won't go down very much further. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Oh, let's see. Is that a little bit better? Mm. Let me see. Eh, that's about as far down as I can go without it um, getting in the way. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of this Poodle Skirt Pink, just a tiny amount, and I'm just gonna squirt it right on my canvas, just, you know, this much. And I'm just gonna blend that into my white so that I have pink, but not quite as bright as the Poodle Skirt. I wanna tone that down a little. So blend that right in to that white, so it makes a little bit lighter color. And it, that's the lightest pink that I had, and so I had to make do, because that's what I do. I'm not going to buy another one, I just adjust the color. Okay, awesome. So we're a little closer, that's about as close as I can get, because I, if I get any closer, I won't be able to see what I'm doing. And uh, hey Janice, go help him love. Go oh, help your man. Okay, so basically that's what all we're gonna do. This is gonna have to dry. And so we have the Magic Kitchen. Here's one that is already dry. It's a little bit lighter version, but that's okay. You can do this background any stinkin' color you want. 
So here's one that I've already done and it's dry. So we are going to just sketch really quick. Um, I have not Carol. We're gonna have to sketch really quick our little bunny because I want, I don't wanna um, just get started painting. I wanna make sure he is centered and his ears are right and all that. So I almost always am gonna sketch him. So I'm gonna put his head almost halfway, a little less than halfway. I'm just gonna make a circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna make a little circle for his head. Then I'm just gonna come down and make his little body. So it's gonna kinda come down from his neck, out, and then back in a little, kinda like a bowling pin, the bottom of a bowling pin. And we'll adjust that as we go. Now we wanna give him some ears. So I am going to just start at the top and give him some big O ears. So up here. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but let me see if I can get a little closer so you can kind of see the uh, sketch. I don't know if you can see it because I can't see. <laughs> I can't see my phone anymore, so I can't see what you can see. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm gonna paint out this bunny so you'll see him in just a second. I'm gonna paint him white. So I'm just gonna put some of this um, craft paint right onto my plates. And we're gonna paint him white with our little brush. Let me get a clean one so we don't make a mess. So I'm just gonna get a clean brush. Hey, Luann, hey, Leah, hey, Carolyn. So I'll wet my brush, and then I'm gonna get some of that moisture out so it's not, oh, my brush is wanting to break, so it's not diluting my paint too much. And I'm just going to fill in my um, bunny. So we'll just fill him in. And we're gonna put some glass down at the bottom. He's gonna be super cute. It's hard to know what to do with bunnies because it seems like everybody's doing the same thing and I wanted to do something a little different and I like to keep it simple here because it's really no fun if I do something super hard that you can't replicate, so. I'm gonna just start painting in my little bunny. Hey, Gladys. We'll make his little head. So basically, it's just a circle about, I don't know, one third of the way down. This brush is too big. Well, it's probably not too big for the body, but I'm gonna come back with a smaller brush and get his ears and face again. Let's fill him in. So you're gonna make a circle, and then you're just gonna come down on the sides and then make him some cute little ears, simple as he can be. Nothing technical about him at all. So let's see. So you should be able to kind of see him start to take form. He might need two coats. We may have to chat it up and do uh, two coats, so. I'm gonna get a little bit smaller brush. Do his cute little ears. We're gonna outline this too before we resin. So you'll really be able to um, see better what he looks like. It's not gonna just be this white. So just hang with me. Hey, Judy, people were talking about you a minute ago. Hello, Elaine, hey, Susan, hey, Marcia. Thank you for the uh, sprinkles. I love bunnies too. So we're just going to color him in. I can hear my kids downstairs. Sounds like they're having a little party without me. Okay, we're gonna let this dry up a little bit. And I'm gonna show you kind of what we're gonna do while this kind of sets up. I'm gonna show you what I dug out of my treasure chest. 
Hey, Nancy, how are you? Show you what I've dug out of my treasure chest and then maybe we can second coat it. Okay, so it, I have this box and it's too big and heavy or I'd bring it over and show it to you. But it has like remnants of um, just uh, stuff, blown glass bits that I've collected or pieces of broken vase. And they're just like uh, mixed up pieces that make, yay, Pam, that um, make up that it's really don't fit in any special box. So I went digging into the bottom because you know, all those tiny little pieces always just kind of get to the bottom of the barrel because they're so light. So what I've done, and let me see if I can show these to you on something white. What I've done, I don't know if you can see them on my hand, but I have picked up out of the bottom of my bucket a couple of pink and purple tiny little quarter inch nuggets. And we're gonna use these as little flowers on our bunny piece. So here's what we're gonna do. I was thinking about doing this in plaster and I may do this one in plaster and just show it to you tomorrow. But I, I knew that it wouldn't dry in time and I was kind of rushed doing this, so it just didn't happen that way. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna second coat him, give him some good white color. We're going to outline him so you can see the detail, just a little bit of outline here and there. And then we're going to add some blades of grass down at the bottom just with paint and some green paint color. Thank you, Tori. Uh, this is Crocodile by Folk Art. We're gonna add some green, and then we're gonna use these tiny little chippies that I found in my bucket. So go to the bottom of your glass bucket, and uh, we're gonna add those as flowers. It's gonna be super awesome. Just something a little different than all the, the gnomes. So we are gonna do a gnome next week, but we're gonna do something a little different today, just because, just start it off original. How about that? Okay, so let me see if I can add a little bit more paint to this, and then we'll start with some green. There, that's better. It just needed a little more opacity. Not quite white enough. I have to be quiet so I can hold my mouth right. <laughs> hey, Jan, how are you today? So we're gonna bring that down. You could do the background in like a blue, like a blue sky, maybe put a little grass at the bottom to go with the flower stems. You know, just about any nice spring color would work for this. Super simple, easy to do. Okay, I think we're good. Love the bunnies too. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some green. This is crocodile green. Get a little bit of that on my plate and I'm gonna make myself <clears throat> just a few little stems. I should have done three of those, three of these, and then I had this step already dry too, but I've been making canvases all day. Uh, my friend Teresa Brown's husband made me a bunch. And then I made me a couple more today because it was such a beautiful day. I'm looking for a liner brush, so give me some grace. Um, it was such a beautiful day today that it was a good day for me to also do that. So I'm gonna use just this little green, little uh, tiny liner brush to make some grass or some flower stems. So I'm gonna go right into my green and get it pretty saturated. I'm gonna load that brush up and just start with making, see that brush is terrible. Hang on, need a new one. Let's try this one. That one was awful. Do you see what it did? Not good. Bunnies are super fun, aren't they? 
I'm gonna do a gnome tune next week. I can't wait to show you the gnome I'm doing. I'm probably gonna do a couple of gnomes for Easter because I wanna do one with the Easter egg and I wanna do one with a cross too. So, you know how that goes. Might have to do more than one. So, I am just adding some green flower stems. And just, you know, you don't have to have a flower on every stem. Just add some green down at the bottom. Doesn't have to be a flower on every stem. So, I'm going to get my, bright, my green into a little bit of this white just to give some of these stems a little bit of another color. Make some more, uh, make some pop more, give them a little bit more dimension. So they don't look like just a big green line. <laughs> Get a little more green down here. A little more white. So just make you some little green stems, flower stems, grass, whatever you want to do down there. Is that not awesome? Okay, I'm still waiting on that to dry. Not doing its thing. May have to get my dryer. All right, I'm gonna dry this real quick. My dryer's a few inches to the left of me. Don't go away, give me 30 seconds. And let me get this dry for you. Hang on. Okay, so right now while this is, the green is gonna finish drying, it's still a little teeny bit wet down there, I am gonna take um, a pen. This is not the pen I want, let's see. That one is a little too fat maybe, we'll try it. This is a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. It's kinda like a calligraphy pen. I don't know if you can see the point on that pen, so you can make a really skinny line or you can push down and make kind of a calligraphy line. Any pen that, do not use a Sharpie and then pour resin over it unless you're gonna seal it because it will run. Uh, always uh, test your pens and get one that is um, uh, archival, okay? That won't run under your, um, under your resin. Okay, so I'm just gonna line out this little bunny a little bit, just so you can see his features. And I'm not gonna like make straight all, you know, straight lines. I like to just give it um, just a little bit of a line. Boom, boom. So we're gonna just, I'm gonna flip this because it's easier for me to just do it this way. All right. We'll get his head, dot, 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 little chin action. There, super cute, no face. No face, but I think what we may do, real quick, I'm gonna add a little bit of this pen down here, not much. Just a few strokes. Sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna do till I'm doing it. <laughs> so now you can kind of see uh, where I'm headed with this now that it's not uh, just totally white. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit of pink back onto my plate straight out of the bottle and I am going to take a small round brush a small round, get some of that pink on there, and we'll give him some pink back in the center of his ears. Nothing fancy, 
na empat sah. Just a little something. And when that dries up, we'll add uh, some lines to that too. Is he not cute? So all we have left to do now is add our little flowers to our stems. So we're gonna add a tiny bit of glue underneath each flower. I'm gonna lay my little flowers right here so you can see what I'm working with. And uh, the, just a tiny bit of this clear tacky glue will keep them from moving around while we're resin. And it's just gonna be a little pin dot. Hey Jennifer, how are you love? How are you? No Robin, that's the same one. I use this one all the time. I use the, this Faber Castle and I use, uh, where'd it go? The um, graphic. These are the, my, the two pens I always use. So this one is a Faber-Castle Pit Artist Brush Soft Brush. Okay, so I'm gonna just start, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five pinks and four purple. So I am just going to add a tiny dot of We'll just start adding there. That's good enough right there, pink. And then we'll do a purple. Just adding a few little dots of color. We'll do that pink right there. And then we'll do a purple. No rhyme or reason, just doing a few flowers. Let's do a purple. And we'll do a pink right here. So these are just tiny, tiny little chunk, and I'll give you a cl better close-up of this in just a second once I get all these um, on here. Um, let's see, I need probably a little something purple. Then we'll put this pink right here, and I'll give you a better vision of it. So these are just tiny little chunks of glass. So let me see if I can get close up. Hey, Lynette. So here, let me find ya. I can't really see. So here is a close up of our little bunny. Super, su I'm gonna be real still for a minute so it can focus. So he's super, super simple. No face even, just a very basic, cute little, Mr. Bunny with a pink background, paint his body white, a few little green sprigs, little tiny chunks of glass, and then we're gonna resin. Cannot be more simple than that. Super duper simple. Even a caveman could do it, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, that was done. All right, so who's ready to resin? So we are gonna just do tiny amount of resin because there is hardly anything to this. So we're gonna use our little baby cups. Thank you, Linda. If you know someone who you think would think this is cute, you know what to do, right? Okay, so I am going to, I have my blocks ready. I'm gonna put my gloves on. Hey, Sandy, hey, Dixie, how are ya? So I'm so excited. Um, I am, uh, for people who just got here, hi Richard. I'm gonna move this over and not freak everybody out. So I'll put my cups here. So as not to uh, give everybody a panic attack, but I am going to mark on my cup. Hmm, I'm only gonna make two teaspoons. So I'll mark on my cup. One teaspoon there and one teaspoon here. That way I know where to pour while I'm pouring. <clears throat> so tomorrow, oh yes, thank you. Thank you, Catherine. See, I'm crazy sometimes. Let's add a little outline. Doot, doot, doot. Whoop. 
Whoop, there we go. How's that? That's so much better, isn't it? Voila. <laughs> there we go. I have a drink. Hang on. So, uh, Rima, the, tra the um, colors and the uh, tracer will be on the member page. We're going to do something different over there in a little while, but you'll definitely have access to this. So, you guys know, okay, I was trying to tell you something and I forget it because I'm crazy. Um, I am leaving tomorrow to go to Destin for a few days for a retreat with some of my artsy girlfriends. We're going to hang out, uh, love on each other, uh, create a little, and get our creative juices flowing. So I'll be back on Monday. Oh, uh, okay, Serema, I'm sorry. I'm crazy. Um, I'll be back on Monday, and we're going to do some super fun Easter stuff next week, too. I've got, like, five or six things in my brain that I need to get out, so we're going to be doing some really fun Easter stuff. So, I am going to do one part, I know, I am lucky, one part resin, one part hardener in our little cups. I'm going to pull this back to me, and I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'll, I like to put one away from myself so that I know which one I'm working with or I forget. So I'm gonna put that one out of the way. I'm gonna pour this one. And let's see, I have to go slow because that's not very much resin. One teaspoon is hardly anything. So let me bend down. That, one more teeny drop, boom. So there is one teaspoon of that. Now I'm gonna put this down and reach for the one far away. <laughs> Are you Molly? That's awesome. How's the weather, Molly? I am so excited to go. Happy to see my friends. We're gonna have so much fun. I feel certain there's gonna be excessive amounts of wine involved. That's all, I, but you know what? What happens on vacation stays on vacation, right? One more drop, tiny little, boom. Teeny little piece, okay. So let's put this away. It is beautiful. <gasps> I love Destin. I used to live in Destin, Deborah. Did you know that? I sure did. Okay, so I'm gonna scooch this over just for a second and bring this to me. And what we're going to do, I love my little flowers. Actually, okay, 74. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna pour one into the other. Thank you, Rima. I will, Elaine. I'm gonna be smooching her up. I'll give her a little smooch for you too. Um, I'm gonna pour one into the other and then we're gonna mix that for three minutes really slowly. You wanna make sure you get all the resin out of the cup so that you don't end up with unequal parts because this art resin is a measurement, 50-50 measurement mix. You can't weigh it, you have to measure it. And it has to be properly measured and properly mixed, or you end up with a stinky, sticky mess. And nobody wants that now, do they? No, no, no. Then you cry because you wasted lots of resin and lots of money. Okay, I'm gonna set that there. So we have one, two teaspoons of resin now, which is gonna be plenty for this tiny little, um, cute little Easter bunny. So I'm gonna start mixing, Rima, so you let me know when we're ready. Okay, so when you're mixing, uh, two teaspoons, a teaspoon of A and a teaspoon of B. So it's two teaspoons of resin. It's probably even gonna be too much. <laughs> just so, such a tiny amount, but we'll know that in just a second. 
So you're mixing slowly. You wanna make sure your resin is room temperature too. If it's really cold, your resin is going to be hard to mix and it's gonna be super bubbly. And you don't want that. Hey, Eddie, Edie, Jean. <laughs> You, uh, you want to mix slow at, so that you don't incorporate a lot of air and bubbles into your mix. And you are, is it your anniversary? Looking forward to being away. I understand being away. You know, my daughter, she's they're probably listening. I'll probably be up pouting down there when I'm done. But my daughter and her girlfriend have been living with me for about two months. And I'm ready to throw them out, y'all. Think I'm kidding? <laughs> Thank you, Elaine. I am, uh, I, these are grown women. I'm ready to be done. They are on my last nerve. Mama needs her house to herself. So yeah, I'm totally looking forward to my weekend away as well. So much. So we're just gonna keep stirring for three minutes. Pretty excited about this cute bunny. Can't wait to show you the other bunny we're doing. The going away part. Hey, Betty. I'm hoping I get to go to the beach and hang out for a couple hours at least one day this week. I have to come home Saturday because I have a prior commitment and um, I've got a lot of stuff to get ready for for Sunday, but, uh, and I got a lot of art to make too. I have an art show in Nashville the first weekend of April, and I've done nothing. So I am gonna be all over the place. I need desperately to get some stuff done. That, which is why I spent all that time yesterday cleaning this studio because I was about to lose my mind. It was so messy. Oh, it seems like 20 minutes has gone by, Rima. <laughs> it's the longest three minutes ever. <laughs> Yawn. Ugh. So I do feel better. Somebody mentioned that I seem like I feel better, and I do feel better. I still have a little bit of a cough, and you know, I try to stay in the house, for the most part, because I feel like, thank you, Reva, I feel like, you know, if I'm out of, out of the house and cough in front of somebody, they're gonna be spraying me with Lysol. <laughs> but I'm trying to stay home. I do not have the corona beer virus. I don't drink beer, so, you know. <laughs> That's funny, not funny, I know. Okay, Rima says time is up. Did that not seem like the longest three minutes of your life? So I am going to elevate Mr. Bunny on my blocks. Make sure he's tucked up under there. And I already know my table is level because I already tested it. I had to go through four tables to get this level table. So I'm not gonna worry about that, but if you don't know, you could place a little level on top of your art piece and make sure it's level so that your resin doesn't run one way or the other. So, the first thing I'm gonna do, as per usual, is drizzle some resin right over my little glass pieces. We wanna make sure those are covered really nicely from the top down. That way they're adhered really well to our canvas surface. Hello, Donald Slovi. How are you today? So we're gonna cover those really well. Do that first, then we'll smear it around. I had to turn on the air conditioner in this room earlier today because it was so warm and now I'm freezing. <laughs> Isn't that typical? Typical. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my resin, all my glass is covered so I'm gonna just smear it down here where, so 
with my little tiny sticks so that I don't have to worry about getting my hands between those little glass nuggets because I got some fat fingers. I got, I don't have tiny little feminine hands. I got some big old fat fingers. So I'm just gonna use my stick to make sure it's all covered between there. Let me see if I can move around. Make sure, hey Tina, how are you love? So a little bit more. Then I am going to, it's hard to talk and concentrate on this at the same time. I'm crazy that way. All right, a little bit more to make sure it's all covered down here. See how simple this was, guys? You can do it. So now I'm just gonna take my resin and drizzle it. So the two teaspoons was the perfect amount, okay? Two teaspoons per four by 12. So scrape it all out. Yeah, it got so warm in here. Yeah, they really would, Linda. The only problem is I didn't have any little tiny pink. I guess I could do um, glass beads, but I was trying to do something quick and easy for you guys, but you could definitely totally, I'm gonna use my hands, it's just easier. You could totally use some little tiny pink glass in his ears. That would be super cute. You could turn him backwards too and give him a little fluffy tail with some glass. All right, I need to move that a little bit because there's a big hunk of glass there, or a big hunk of resin. So now I'm just gonna smear it around and make sure it's covering my entire canvas. I see a little debris because I have my air on, so it's blowing crap everywhere. So I'll need to address that. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. The resin just makes all the difference in the world. Hey, Johnny. This piece I would uh, charge 39 for, who asked that? Uh, Julie, this would be 39. Okay, so we have all of our resin covered. I lost the piece of debris, so I need to spend one second seeing if I can find that sucker. Oh, I see it. Here he is, right in his ear. Let me get that up. So usually when I am doing resin, I will turn, I don't know what that is. I will turn off the air for that very reason because it will throw debris and stuff out of your, um, your vents. But I was so hot, I didn't do that, so we're gonna have to take our chances. I did get that little piece out. So now let's hit it. Is that not cute? Let me take my gloves off. Oh, Richard is the most special. The most. So I'm gonna grab my torch. So we're gonna use a heat source to pop any bubbles that we created while we were mixing our resin. I use this big monster torch. You do not have to use something like this. You can use a um, creme brulee, a little small kitchen torch. You can use a heat gun. You can even use a blow dryer on high heat, low air. And all you do is just real quick, one, two, three, go across, boom, 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 boom. You don't want your flame touching your art piece. It's the heat that pops the bubbles and you don't wanna stop. See how my hand never stops moving? Boo, 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 boo. Done. That is that. Look how quick we made this cute bunny. I'm gonna hold it close. So hopefully you can see the whole thing. I'm gonna be real still for a second so it'll focus in. Is he 
not adorable. O-M-G.